Hello my arcade friends, this is Arid, and I'm here with a video going to be talking about a new RNG box coming soon to the Legacy servers. Uh, this video is actually going to be a little bit short because you guys have probably already watched a ton of these videos on my channel and you know what to expect. Okay, so the new box that's coming to the Legacy servers is a bouncing bloom thing crate. The big prize is a Violet Bloom Fang or the Black Bloom Fang. The Violet Bloom Fang has actually been out before, so this is actually one of those what they call the Power Stone pet types. Now the Black Bloom Fang, just based off of what I can tell, appears to just be a reskin of the Violet version, which has been out for a while. So if you look here in the video, you can see that I actually have a Violet Bloom Fang here on the PTS, sitting around on my shoulder like a parrot. I'll show the Black Bloom Fang, provided I get one after I open up uh, some of these boxes. So what is actually special about these Power Stones pets is that they are non-combat. Essentially, they cannot be attacked and they do not attack. They basically just play a role of a walking buff. To that end, the Bloom Fangs, both of them, come with a skill called Truly Cathletic, which when used will decrease damage by 30% and that lasts for 3 seconds with a 1 minute 30 second cooldown. In addition to that, Power Stone pets can be equipped with Power Stones, which are available for 300 loyalty each. The two options are the Bloom Fang Helm, which increases your health by a 1500 points and then you also have a kindled spirit power stone as choice number two which uh, basically will buff your attack speed for 35 points these are both persistent buffs which means that all you have to do is equip them to your pet and summon your pet and you're good to go all right so on to the crate this is actually a standard archeum based crate which basically means that you'll expect a lot of your stuff to be archeum crystals and essences there's also chances for a superior red and yellow regrade charms doom's blessings resplendent tippers and of course the pets that i mentioned i actually have 360 of these to open up thank you to nacho libre from Thunderwing, free those nachos, as well as Dejaco from Disaster for helping me out. Thank you both. You guys rock. I'm going to go ahead and start the opening process right now, and I'll speed this up here in just a minute. I do want to point out that what I'm expecting to see here is a total of six pets. Uh, as with all these boxes that drop, uh, whether it's a pet, mount, glider, or costume, the the drop rate for the big prize is 1 out of 60, at least that's what I've seen. So with my 360, I'm pretty confident that I'll get both pets, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this footage, and then I'll return after finishing opening up these boxes, and we'll talk more about the drops, and hopefully I'll have a black bloom thing to show off. All right, that was all 360, and the results, well, that was pretty interesting. As you can see here in my bag, there wasn't a whole lot of variety, but I actually kind of appreciate that. 
big get on those pets. I was actually expecting six, one out of 60, and I got 18, which makes it one out of 20 drop rate, which I got to say, man, that is way, way higher than any other box I've ever opened. Uh, 17 superior red charms, 19 superior yellows, uh, five total resplendent tippers, and two wrapped serendipity stones, along with 57 lucky moon points and 40 lucky sun points. Uh, the only fluff item that really in this box, if you're not counting the Archeum, was the flaming pinions. Not too bad. All right, so I put everything in a spreadsheet, and this will be available to you in the video description, or a link to it will be in the video description. Uh, a couple notable things since I last did one of these Archeum-type boxes is that this time the green and blue reed gray charms were absent. Pretty cool. Also, there was also, once again, no Lucky Star points, which honestly, that kind of stuff, I think the Legacy probably is pretty thankful for that. Uh, I do get the feeling that uh, Tryon and XL did take to heart the discussion we had on the forums about a lot of the junk that was coming out of these boxes. And for whatever that's worth, this box did seem more streamlined. And uh, like I said, the only junk that was in it was those flaming pinions. Finally, let's talk about the Black Bloom Fang. I did get seven of them and I have uh, already opened one up and he's been standing next to me uh, here in this section of the video. Uh, certainly it's just a reskin, but uh, it does have kind of a unique look to him. It's a, like a zebra look, so not too bad. Also, when I unwrapped him, uh, he did come with his very own Kindled Spirit Power Stone, and that is the plus 35 attack speed one. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the Violet Bloom Fang comes with the other one, which is the plus 1500 health. I should also point out that if you plan on buying the Bloom Fang for loyalty, odds are that when you buy him, he will not come with a Power Stone equipped. Uh, you should take that into consideration if you're debating whether or not to spend your loyalty on one. Uh, because if you do the math, if you want the Power Stone and the pet, you're looking at a total of 950 loyalty. You're going to spend 650 for the pet and another 300 for the Power Stone of your choice. Well, that is pretty much it for this video. I actually don't have my new outro video quite done yet, so I'm just going to have to say it here. I hope you all have found this video both helpful and informative. That is the goal. If you enjoy my content, please consider liking and subscribing here on YouTube. You can also find links to my other channels like Discord and Twitch in the video description. If you want to kick up your support, please consider becoming a Patreon for as little as $1. Until next time, this is September saying, be well.